Hey everybody, welcome to Planes Over It. And uh, today we're doing flex calculation for a uh, wet runway conditions. All right. So before we actually uh, begin, I would want you to download this RTW chart uh, from the link mentioned in the description below, and um, also take your pen and paper so that you can follow me along on the questions. So uh, before we actually uh, begin, I want you to just uh, know that this chart is made for QE air conditioning off anti icing off all reverses operating dry check no reverses on dry runway so this is anyways not applicable for us so we can remove this and all reverses operating now this is mentioned on this chart so but i just want you to consider that it is not mentioned it is mentioned all reverses inoperative all right just for practice purposes so that i can show you something different okay and i want you to note down tora toda elevation isa as well okay and uh, that's all about it i think and yes of course note down the t ref that is 44 degree centigrade so this is the data for this question o8025 headwind 7 knots qnh 998 hectopascals air conditioning on engine anti ice on wet runway actual takeoff weight is 65000 kilograms both reverses operative no clear way though in the chart that you're downloading has both reverses operative already mentioned and considered but just for practical purposes and practice we will just consider that it is written both reverses inoperative okay and no clear way how do we know that it's no clear way is tora if tora is equal to toda then there is no clear way on that runway okay so tora and toda were equal so find the flex and temperature and associated v speeds so before you actually start off uh, to find flexible temperature you have to calculate mtow and ensure that that actual takeoff weight is within limit of the mtw so assuming that we have done that so uh, 65,000 kilograms is within the maximum takeoff weight. Okay. Uh, T-ref 44, elevation 49 feet, considering uh, practical purposes sea level. IS is 15 degrees. Tora is Toda is equal to Tora and Toda is equal to 2680 meters. That is why there is no clear way. Okay. So now first thing we have to do is find out uh, box temperatures and V speeds for 65,000 kilograms because that was was that is what was given to us in the question so we just uh, go to the 65 mark which is not here unluckily so it is between this so first thing we go is headwind was given a 7 knots so we take the 5 knots which is restrictive so these are the boxes here on config 1 plus f and config 2 okay now this box is actually designed for 66.6 .6. it's delta weight so 66.6 I've noted here is giving box temperature 63 which is from here and 144, 145, 46. Similarly delta weight 0 0.6 here 64.6. Delta weight here is 0.1 so it is 66.1 and 64 is the box temperature 64.1 and 67, point, 67 is the box temperature. These speeds have been noted. Okay so once this is done we have noted the boxes we can proceed to find the temperatures first. So temperature for 65,000 kilograms. So how do we do it? By interpolation. So 66.6 .6 is giving me 63. 64.6 .6 is giving me 66. Okay. Difference between the temperatures is 3. Difference between the weight is 2 tons. Here also luckily it's the same. 66.1 is giving me 64. 64.1 is giving 67. The difference is 3 and 2. So for 2 tons the difference is 3 degrees. But we want it for 65,000 kilograms. So that lies here, which is 0.4 above 64.6. So for 2 tons, it is 3 degrees. So 0.4, it's how much? And here it is 0.9 above, as you can see, 64.1 plus 0.9 will give us 65. And so for 2 tons, it is 3 degrees. So 0.9, how much? So once we do cross multiplication, we get x is equal to 0 0.6 and x is equal to 1.3. So as you can see, 64.6 is here and 65 somewhere in between and the temperatures are actually decreasing similarly here also the temperatures are decreasing so we shall be subtracting from 66.6 to get 65.4 and here 67 minus 1.3 to get 65.7 round this rounding this off to lower we'll get 65 now flex is always rounded off to a lower value because lower flex will give you higher thrust and it will improve our safety margin. So always even if it is 65.7 we will round it off to the lower value. Okay. So temperature has been found out for both configs for 65,000 kg. Now we need to find out speeds. 
Now speeds, the rule is lower V1, higher VR, higher V2. Okay, so these are the box speeds that we have just copied. So lower V1 in this case it is 144, higher VR is 145 as you can see. Now the difference between the V2s as 44 and 46 is 2. So we can actually just split them and write 45. Config 1. The differences between all the speeds is 2, 141, 143, 41, 43, 44, 6, 46. So difference is all 2, so we can just take the mid values, 142, 42 and 45. This will be considered lower V1, higher VR, higher V2 only in case of the difference is 1. Okay, so where you actually cannot split. Alright, so when speeds are also done, now we will apply corrections. Now actually, uh, the chart though it was designed for all thrust reverses operative we could have directly applied this wet correction and got our this thing uh, plex temperatures and speeds uh, as you can see that minus one is here and minus one is here and the speeds correction is minus 880 minus 880 now just for your uh, practice purposes i will assume that it is written on the box that all thrust reverses inoperative i will teach you a different method to do it from the fcom which is also more accurate all right so we will leave the wet correction just for this case. QNH correction we shall apply, which is 998 was given, which lies in the minus 15 box, and this correction is given as minus 2. So 65 minus 2 and 65 minus 2 on both the configurations. 65 minus 2, 63, 65 minus 2, 63. No speed correction for QNH. So speed correction is only for wet runways, not QNH and not air conditioning. So only V speeds correction will be only for the wet conditions. Okay. So once this is done, we will proceed for air conditioning corrections, which is on. And the chart is made for off. So this on condition here, it's giving us minus three and minus three. So from QNH we got 63, 63 on both sides. We'll subtract minus three, minus three. We'll get 60. Now again, no speed correction is required for air conditioning. So once this is done. We'll go to anti-ice correction. Now anti-ice, the chart is made for anti-ice off, but in the question is given engine anti-ice on. So I just took it for an example to show you where you will find this correction because it's not on the chart. This correction is from the FCOM performance takeoff, takeoff data 24. You'll find such tables. So whichever is applicable, just pick up. Um, to 9,200 feet is what is applicable to us because elevation is sea level. Engine anti-ice off, engine anti-ice on, we have to subtract five degrees, but there's a star mark. OAT less than 10 degrees only, then only the corrections are valid. So the OAT was 25, so we shall not be subtracting any temperature. Okay, I just wanted to show you where you'll find this. CG corrections, the chart is designed for 25% CG. Okay, so but uh, in performance, uh, perform, uh, takeoff performance conditions, if the CG is more forward, uh, more than 27% CG, we will be applying these corrections, decreasing the takeoff weight by 1000 kilograms, increasing V1, VR, V2 by 1 knot. So we are assumed in this question that uh, CGs are 25%, so no corrections. This is also from the FCOM. Now comes the wet corrections from the FCOM. You will find this in performance takeoff contamination 40-20. Okay. So in the question, you'll find various tables like this in that uh, section here, performance takeoff contamination. We will pick up what is applicable to us. So all thrust reverses operative and there is no clear way. Okay. So config we were calculating was 1 plus f and 2 and our uh, runway length was given as 2680. We will be considering TORA. So 2680 is here and 2680 is for config 2 is between these both. Values are 3 and 2 and 1 and 0. So that is the flex takeoff temperature decrement is we have to decrease. So from the config 1 plus f and config 2 after corrections of QNH and air conditioning and anti-ice and uh, CG corrections. We have arrived at 60 and 60. So now for 2500 meters of runway, the temperature was 3 degrees flex difference, as you can see here. Okay, and for this is 2, and for this is 1 and 0. So for 2500 meters, it was 3, 3000 meters, it was 2. Difference between this is 1, difference between this is 500. To, again, for the config 2, 2500 meters of runway, it was 1 degree of decrement. For 3000, there was no decrement to be done. And the difference between this is 1 again, difference between this is 500. So both sides apparently it is same. So 500 it is 1. So now the thing is we have to find for 2680. So this lies between here. If you add 180 to this, you will get 2680. So for 500 meters of runway, we have to decrease by 1 
degree for 180 meters how much similarly here as well is the same thing so it comes out to be x is 0.36 okay now as you can see the temperature is decreasing here and the length is increasing so we will subtract from 3 minus 0.36 which will give us 2.64 and here it is decreasing as well so we'll subtract 1 we will subtract 0.36 from 1 to get 0.64 so we will subtract these values from the configuration flex which we found out 60 minus 2.64 57.36 always round off to the lower approximately 57 60 minus 0 0.64 59 rounding it off to 50 9.36 we rounding it to 59 so once this is done when we compare two configurations we have to pick up higher configuration always higher flex that is given so 57 59 the flex is 59 so we will pick up config 2 now again I want to talk to talk to you about uh, V speeds decrement okay it is given here V1 decrement VR V2 decrement so this is the 2680 again 99 nine and 8900 zero, zero. okay the rules are when applying decrement in V1 use the higher decrement when applying decrement in VR and V2 use the lower decrement okay so if here it is 9 and 9 so the decrement is anyways both are same so minus 9 otherwise what we do is when applying with decrement in v1 use the higher decrement okay and uh, so we have just done minus 9 from the v1 and vr v2 it is 0 so either way it is 0 now it comes here 8 and 9 okay so when applying decrement in vr and v2 use the lower decrement okay so vr and v2 it is anyways 0 and 0 so v1 decrement as you can see we will apply the higher decrement so higher decrement was minus 9 All right so once we have subtracted this 144 minus 9 135 and 45 45 142 minus 9 133 42 45 remains as it is so we have got our v speeds as well now rules to decide flex temperature and v speeds very important select the configuration with the higher flex temperature which we have already done so we, we got the config 2 as the uh, configuration now if it by chance it's equal then select the configuration with lower v speeds okay so luckily we have got the configuration already if it was equal we will select the lower v speeds now corrected temperature is what we found out was 59 should be greater than 80 there are two very important conditions and corrected temperature should be greater than T ref. T ref was 44. Okay, so corrected temperature we found 59, which is greater than O80, is also greater than T ref 44. Okay, now corrected temperature will be flex temperature only when limited to ISA plus 53. Now this is a very important thing. This comes from the FCOM again. So ISA was 15 plus 53, 68. Now 59 was the corrected temperature. It should not be more than 68, which has been checked okay if it is 69 you cannot do a flex takeoff anyway all right so this is also done and uh, now we have to find out our uh, speeds that are limited by vmcg and vmca okay so we have decided that it was config 2 and our speeds as you remember were 133 42 45 because we have decided it's config 2 33 42 and 45 so we go to this table which is in performance takeoff takeoff data 25 10 so config 2 v1 113 so ours was 32 it is above this and uh, this one 42 45 so config 2 again vr is also above this value here as you can see so we have just noting this down this down and this down so all our speeds should be above these minimum values so that has also been checked next is minimum v2 limited by vmu and vmca this you will find in performance takeoff takeoff data 2520 from the fcom again so we will be using configuration 2 here as you can see pressure altitude was 0 weight was 65 tons 134 is the value the v2 which we found out was 145 so this is also above this value so we have checked this as well so our final flex temperature and V speeds are we will do configuration 2 takeoff with 59 degree flex 133, 142 and 145. I hope you guys have understood uh, how to do it and uh, you can actually apply wet correction directly from the chart. It will be less accurate but more or less it's easier to do it. 
but in case if the chart mentions that all thrust reverses are inoperative then this is the way to do it you have to go to the fcom to find the required table from the performance section okay so i hope you guys have enjoyed the video thanks for watching guys and subscribe to youtube channel and like the facebook page for regular updates give the video a thumbs up if you like this video do not forget to share it too comment below if you if have any doubts i will surely clear it and uh, you can always contact me on youtube facebook whatsapp email cheers and happy landings guys have a great day take care bye bye